Hey guys, my name is Brian Brewer and I'm excited to have you part of this very valuable video here today. I've founded over the past six years multiple online businesses, but today I want to talk to you about starting your personal brand. If you already have an existing business, then your personal brand is all about promoting that business with your unique voice. It's what's going to set you apart because, you know, as we know in this day and age, you are not actually in the business that you think you're in. You're in the business of marketing the business that you're in. And if you don't already have a business, well, then it's probably a good idea to start your personal brand anyways, even if you're not sure what you want to do with it. Because when you start your personal brand, you acquire influence. And when you have influence, you have power. I cannot tell you how many opportunities have come my way simply because I have a presence. I have a brand online. Think about it. It's what all the smart people are doing. It doesn't matter which entrepreneur you aspire to be, whether it's Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, or Gary V, the founder of VaynerMedia. You want to have your face on the front of your brand because it provides an unparalleled amount of value and transparency and it allows people to connect with your brand more easily. So starting your personal brand is one of the biggest opportunities of this coming year. Now, even if you don't want to be an entrepreneur, even if you don't want to start your own business, even if you have no desire to be an influencer, let's just say you want to go out and finish college or go out there and find a new job and work your way up the corporate ladder. Let's be honest. When you go to apply for a new company and you interview, they are going to Google you and your personal brand is what's going to show up when a prospective employer Googles you. Do you want your prospective employer to see something of value that you put into the world, something creative, something uh, of substance, or do you want to see pictures of you drinking pina coladas on Instagram? Okay. It matters. And that brings me to my next important point here. If you have Instagram, if you have Twitter, if you have Facebook, if you have YouTube perhaps, well, then you have a personal brand. This video is going to be about polishing that personal brand and making it work for you. So when you're thinking about starting your personal brand or polishing your existing brand, what you want to think about first and foremost is what is the purpose. Am I a trainer? Am I a coach that wants more clients? Am I an educator who wants to sell online courses? Am I a job hunter who wants to look good in the eyes of my employer? Do I own an agency that needs more clients? It's very important that you really post with purpose. And when you're creating your personal brand, you're going to be out there on social media platforms, posting, creating content, which I'll talk more about in just a few minutes. But you want to do it with purpose. You don't just want to copy other people who have seen success. You don't want to just throw any random thought that comes to your mind on any given day. You want to have a plan. So before you get started, before you start changing all your headers and maybe coming up with a different brand name, which I'll also talk about in just a few minutes here, you want to think about what your goal is, what your purpose is. That way you can always go back to that initial goal when you're thinking, should I post this or should I not? Which then brings us to important point number two. I get this question all the time. People say, what should I brand? And the question really comes down to one of two choices. Should I brand my name? For instance, Brian Brewer, you're watching the Brian Brewer YouTube channel. Do you want to be whoever you are as your personal brand or should you choose a company? Should you choose a name that is representative of what your purpose is? And I would say it really depends on your goals. And as far as speaking from experience goes, I can tell you that I have both. Now, here's something important to consider. If you have an existing company, maybe you're a graphic designer, maybe you're a ad agency or a social media marketing agency, then you probably already have a brand in mind. And that's fine. Just like I mentioned earlier with Sarah Blakely, she created Spanx. We know who she is. Even though her brand is not Sarah Blakely, we know who she is because she became the face of that brand. So if you already have a brand in place, you can absolutely stick with that name but become the face of your brand. If you do not have a brand in place, you're starting more from scratch, then I would probably recommend starting with your name. And that is going to be for two reasons. When you start with your name, people can connect with you as a person more easily. 
Second, when you go with your name, then you are establishing credibility for your name. So if you get a following behind your brand, which is your name, then you can launch subsequent products or ventures or courses and your endorsement as the brand will be enough to see some success with those brands. So take me for instance, my name is Brian Brewer and if I build up the Brian Brewer brand and you get to know me, like me and trust me, you follow my marketing strategies and brand growth strategies and you think, wow, this guy is really on top of his game and I put together a course that's called, say, Influencer Training Academy and I say, hey, you should probably go buy this course. Well, you're gonna take my recommendation because you trust me. Then. If I want to launch something else further down the road, I don't have to scrap Influencer Training Academy because I still have my name as my brand. I can create another course or another opportunity and recommend it to you. Because you like me, you like the Brian Brewer brand, you are going to take my recommendation and going forward. This also comes into play with affiliate marketing and joint ventures. As Brian Brewer, if there is, let's say, an advertising course that I really love, Okay, let's say I really want to promote my brand with Facebook advertising. If there is a gentleman who has an awesome Facebook advertising course, he teaches it because that's his passion and he is much better than me. I can work out a joint venture with him, recommend to my audience, hey, if you're looking for a Facebook ads course, go to this guy. And then I can earn a commission, thus increasing the value of my brand. Okay, you see how that works? So once again, it depends on where you're at and what your ultimate goals are. But if you're just getting started, I would probably brand your name. But if you already have a business in place, go ahead and just become the face of your brand. However, one more important point I want to make before we go on to the next key topic of building and growing your personal brand. If you are going to create a brand name, say you're going to start an agency and you want to sound professional, there is one important factor you must understand when you're choosing your brand name and it seems counterintuitive. So just to over exaggerate for effect to make a point here, let's say for instance, you're going to start a graphic design company and you might think to yourself, who do I want to serve? Well, maybe you want to start a graphic design company that serves people who want to start their personal brand. So say for instance, if I was a personal brand and I wanted a graphic designer, I might search graphic designers for personal brands. So you might think to yourself, a great name for a company would be a name that communicates what we offer and who we offer it to exactly. So you might be tempted to name your company graphic designers for personal brands, okay? Or something along those lines. Once again, we are over exaggerating for effect. While that makes sense, the other thing you have to consider is you need to stand out and be remembered. So if someone goes to Google and types in graphic designers for personal brands, there is going to be hundreds thousands, millions of search results, and you are very unlikely to show up at the top of the search results. So you've done all this work at this point to get your name out there, and then when people really, really, really want to come find you, they go to look for you, and they can't find you. For instance, let's talk about my company. I named my company MadCam Publishing. This is something that is a bit more unique. It's easily remembered. And when people type in Mad Cam Publishing, my YouTube channel comes up, my website comes up, my Facebook page comes up because there is no competition. Mad Cam is simply a combination of my children's names, my daughter Maddie and my son Camden. I put them together, Mad Cam Publishing. So once I've done all the work to get the name of Mad Cam Publishing out there, when people search that in Google because they want to do business with me or they want to look me up and offer me some sort of joint venture out of the blue, they type in Mad Cam Publishing, I show up and dominate the front page. So super important when it comes to naming your brand if you're not going with your name. The next thing to consider if you're creating your personal brand is you need a website if you don't already have one. You need a home base. You need something that you own own. It makes you look much more professional. Plus, once again, it's something you own, something you can control. If YouTube changes the way they lay out their channel, you can't control that. You can control every aesthetic of your website. Plus, you can't get shut down and it will help you rank and dominate the first page of those branded results. Now, the easiest way I found to create a professional looking website for your brand is to please, for the love of God, do not use the free tools that are out there. You are investing in your brand and your business. 
spend just a little bit of money. The free tools that are out there look free and that is not going to help you become a respected brand. The best way to do this is to use a hosting provider. I like Bluehost and use a drag and drop page building software. I like lead pages. For this, it's very simple, very affordable. For less than $40 a month, you can have a professionally designed website. You don't have to hire a designer. Anyone can use the templates and the drag and drop ease of lead pages to create a professional branded website. And it's not just about the money either. When you have control of your website, you can make changes on the fly. If you hire a designer or a design company and you decide that you want to make a certain change because one offer is now more important than the other, you have to get on the horn with your designer. You have to authorize the changes. You have to wait for their designers to make the changes. It can be quite a hassle. And as we know, money loves speed. So when you can control your website, you can go in there and make changes on the fly. You can make three changes a day. You can split test to make sure whatever your offer is and is converting at the highest possible rate and it's not going to cost you any more. If you want to make a change after you've hired a designer for your website, it's going to cost you in most cases. So take control and that's probably the easiest way to do it. As a matter of fact, I created an absolutely 100% free course that will show you how to set up your personal website with lead pages and Bluehost. It's a 100% free course. It's about seven videos and takes 30 minutes. It'll take you step by step by step every single part of the process so you can get your personal professional looking website launched in as little as two hours. So once again, I'll go ahead and provide a link to that absolutely free course in the description below. The next important point we want to talk about when we're talking about building our personal brand is you are going to have to Remain true to yourself. Don't try to copy other people. Don't try to be other people. Your number one competitive advantage is the fact that you are 100% unique. Your audience is out there. Your audience is out there waiting for your unique perspective. That's why the personal brand is such a great opportunity. It is literally, if you stay true to yourself, a zero competition business because no one can be you. Think about if you were going to try to assemble a bicycle. You had two people trying to teach you how to do it. You're naturally going to gravitate towards one person's teaching style. Yet, I might naturally gravitate towards the other person's teaching style. The fact is your unique audience is out there who will naturally gravitate to your natural style. And all you need is a thousand true fans to have a very lucrative business. The best part if you stay unique, if you stay true, then the search algorithms, the YouTube algorithms, the Facebook algorithms, they actually want people to be happy. So they want to help your exact audience find you. Which brings me to the next point. We talk about creating content. This is where people mess up all the time. Creating content is how you are going to get people to become familiar with your brand. It's all about discovery. I put very little, if any, effort into Instagram because Instagram is an asset that depreciates. What I mean by that is every time you put a post up there, it shows up. You might get a, a influx of views in the beginning, but you get less and less and less and less until you're getting zero new likes and views. The opposite is true in places like YouTube, when you create a YouTube that is geared towards search, then it might get initial influx with your current subscriber base. But if it's a quality video, over time, Google will start recommending it to more and more and more people. So it's an asset that actually appreciates. Once again, remember, it's all about discovery. It's not about being everywhere. It's about being in the right places where your potential customers or fans are looking for you at the exact moment they're looking for you. And let's circle back again to the next important point of creating your personal brand is consistency. You don't have to go live every single day. You don't have to create uh, content 14 times a day and upload to YouTube six times a day. You just have to be consistent because what happens is the moment you disappear for a few weeks, you may disappear forever because your audience forgets about you. Our attention spans are very, very short these days and getting shorter every single day. So stay consistent. Feed the machine. Cater to your audience. Be there. Show up. Be present. And they will continue to love you. Disappear. Gone forever. The next important point of building your personal brand, it's essential. You have to provide actual value give actual value to the world 
The simple fact remains, if you learn how to help people, the money will follow. If you produce amazing value and put it into the universe and promote it, you are going to see success. People will come find you if you are truly providing unique value. And finally, I've briefly touched on this, but be efficient. Create systems. Don't just throw spaghetti at the wall. Don't just create content for the sake of creating content. Be very deliberate. For instance, this video, it has an outline. Before I shot this video, I created an outline. That way I knew what I wanted to talk about and make sure I hit all the key important points when it comes to developing, creating your personal brand. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and paste that outline. It's unedited just the way I wrote it for preparing for this video. I'm going to post that in the description below. That way you can look through that outline and get an idea of the key topics, the key bullet points that I put into writing and what kind of comes as an ad lib during the shooting process. Now this video also has its own mini course. Once again, I'm talking to you about that mini course that's gonna show you how to create your website uh, to make it look professional for as affordably as possible. Now that mini course, once again, is totally free. It's an amazing asset. It's gonna take you step by step by step, but it's also set up to acquire your email address if you do access that course. That way I can follow up with you promote any future YouTube videos, and then bring you into my brand by communicating with you and providing more value to you. Because if you just watch this video, I may never see you again. If I grab your email address, I can share more tactics and techniques that'll help you, which will then get you to know me, like me, and trust me more. That way, if I do have something to recommend in the future, you are more likely to buy it. Now, speaking of something to recommend in the future, I do have a course. It is Influencer Training Academy. It is affordable. It's $67 per month, even though it's worth thousands. And this will teach you how to grow your personal brand. It shows you exactly what I did to grow a personal brand that earns as much as $50,000 in a month. And I did it all without spending a dime on advertising. So if you want to check out and get access to that training academy, which includes live streams, includes one-on-one -on -one support, email support, all the things you need to be successful, go ahead and click on the Influencer Training Academy link in the description below as well. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding developing and creating your personal brand, please leave them in the description below. I try to answer everybody's question and make sure you subscribe to this channel before you go. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye now.